The Charleston Fire Department looking at the next steps needed to make sure they are retaining firefighters. This comes as firefighters say higher pay is needed now more than ever. News News' Lexi Moore joins us live from downtown Charleston. Lexi, the city's public safety committee met tonight to hear from the Charleston Fire Chief and other firefighters who are speaking out of what they need moving forward. Yeah, that's right. Brandon City of Charleston Fire Chief Dan Curia says he has been working for years tirelessly to fill every position to make sure the department is successful moving forward. But tonight I spoke with some firefighters that tell me making a livable pay is the biggest issue they're facing. The pay and re retention issue is our number one issue to tackle. The City of Charleston Fire Department trying to improve retention. John Baker with the Charleston Fire Association says Retaining firefighters is difficult as the starting minimum wage is less than $13 an hour. Retaining those firefighters that we uh, we train up and, and have ready to go to uh, to protect and serve the citizens and visitors visitors of Charleston are uh, are coming and going uh, quicker than we can we can kind of make a motion to keep them here. City of Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg says every city employee deserves higher pay, especially the fire department. Keeping employees getting them trained, paying them enough uh, uh, so that they can afford to live here. It's, it's a real challenge for, for our organization as a whole. Baker says on average, firefighters save with the department for about nine years, and they're looking at ways to try to keep people on board for longer. We're a very young department. We're very progressive, and um, it's, it's scary because we do have to expand, and that years and that average years of service is just going to drop as uh, as time goes on. Fire Chief Dan Curia says moving forward, it's important for him to hire and retain firefighters from the low country so that more experienced people stay with the department. The more we can quit losing them from zero to four years, the better off this fire department's going to be for years to come. We're the best city in the world. Uh, we, we really are. And uh, for us to to have this type of issue is very concerning. And city officials plan on discussing pay rates of city employees like the fire department this Thursday during their Human Resources Committee meeting. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, I'm Lexi Moore, Count on Two.